Adobe Acrobat, UPDF and Foxy are the most popular PDF software right now and this channel is all about finding and reviewing the best hardware and software that makes you the most money and in this video we're gonna judge which one of these three is the best based on pricing, free trials, compatibility and design and AI and although this video is sponsored by UPDF all opinions are my own and everything I'm saying is backed up with evidence that you can try yourself. Since the goal of this video is to find the best value for money software then it makes sense to start with the price of each one. Adobe Acrobat is $240 I think and it's an additional $60 just for AI which is very expensive and Foxit is also around $160 and they do have AI built in recently but they don't say how much it is. I don't know if it's included in the plan Anyway, AI is trash on Foxit, it's very slow, but we will have a separate section for AI, so I'll leave that for now. UPDF is only a quarter of the price of Adobe Acrobat, which is one of the main turning points that led 2 million users globally to use UPDF over any other PDF software out there. And it's not just the price, obviously. They have a lot of exclusive features that are only present in the software, and the whole app experience is just more modern and more quick. There's also also another very very important category when deciding which PDF editor to choose which is the ability to have a free trial like I would never ever pay $300 $400 without being able to even try the app before you buy it and Adobe Acrobat because it's the industry standard doesn't even allow you to have a free trial which is quite weird Foxit does have a free trial on paper because you can try it for 14 days if you have a professional email believe it or not I, I don't know about you but I barely know anybody with a professional email I mean the average user at least so I could basically say Foxit doesn't even have a free trial whereas UPDF offers an unlimited free trial so you can try it for as long as you want really. Of course they're not all accessible, some of them are paid, but at least you can have a feel of the app, try it out, see if it fits your workflow. Unlike the others who don't even give you a chance to try it. The third category is the supported apps and this is probably my biggest category. I really do care if the app is supported, if you use your iPhone or Android or tablet or laptop, whatever, the experience should be very very similar if not the same. And I can tell you Foxit is not really one of them because even their channel says we try to mimic Word and Google Docs and so they're not unique in that way. Yes, it does feel familiar and they might have a bit more tools but the app is incredibly slow and no one really said we really like Word Design. We just use it because it's the only one that we can use. And I can tell you the experience is very different between laptop version, iPad version and iPhone version. The laptop one is probably the most powerful but I really do care about the iPad one specifically because I use PDFs when we study in lectures in university and I like to annotate them using the Apple pencil and so if the experience is terrible that just ruins it for me and I tried to write on it the the app is very laggy and it doesn't feel very supported for the iPad it's just like yes we do have an iOS app but it's not really very optimized I think the iPad app for Adobe Acrobat is a bit better there's definitely an improvement but I think they have the same idea as Photoshop because they have a really powerful desktop app but their iPad version just sucks and that's sort of similar here the iPad app is quite good the writing experience is all right but like you can tell it's also not built for the Apple Pencil which is quite annoying like you can see when you erase something it doesn't feel as good as you'll see in your PDF because your PDF feels pretty much the same on Mac iPad and iPhone the same tools same functionality and the Apple Pencil writing experience feels very very good and you can even see the eraser the writing experience is pretty much ideal it's probably not as perfect as goodness for example but that was built for something completely different so the fact that it can even match goodness that's a big thing for me so basically all of them do support all platforms but in reality your PDF is the only one that actually cares about all of them and delivers the same quality across all platforms. AI is the fourth and last category because as you probably know AI is now integrated into every single thing and PDF editors are one of those. Now 
I actually use AI a lot with PDFs when I'm at university because I upload the lecture slides to ChatGPT to explain it in simpler terms and to ask me some questions so that I can test my knowledge. So I figured that would be a lot easier with the PDF editor since the, the AI will be built in. And so I tried the same thing in Foxy, but when I opened the app, it just tells me a free trial is expired and I've only used it for two days, even though it's supposed to be 14 days. So I guess it's out of the equation. Adobe Acrobat AI was very similar as well because I gave it one of my lecture slides and it just did not recognize it whatsoever. But when I tried the same thing with UPDF, it summarized the whole thing. It was content aware, so I could ask it about any specific slide and it's just incredibly fast. And I think a large part of it is because it's built on ChatGPT 4.0, which is the very, very latest one and not just any AI. So that makes it incredibly fast, reliable, and accurate and I can honestly see myself using it quite a lot because it can do so many things it can summarize a PDF translate it explain it rewrite it and it doesn't have to be the whole PDF you can actually select a part of the text to simplify it or do anything with it it doesn't have to be the whole thing so I'm just going to show you a very quick and practical example to show you all the valuable and unique features of UPDF here's a really important PDF that I was given by my physiotherapist for recovery from an knee injury and beforehand I would just print it or I would convert it into a word document which UPDF is really good at, I'll show you in a minute, but now I don't really need to because everything I need is right here. The first thing that I want to do is to add another document that's related to the same ACL injury and I can do that by going to organize pages and then insert, insert from file and I can add another document right here and guess what, it doesn't have to be all the way here. I can move it wherever I want. I would, let's say I want to put it all the way down. And let's say I don't really want this page. It's quite useless. I'll go back to organize page and then get rid of it. And one of the very valuable things that you can do in a PDF editor is the ability to edit the actual text in the PDF. If you go to edit PDF, you can change the text here and it will recognize the font and allow you to edit the text to whatever you want. So mouse, whatever you want really. It's quite powerful. And it's not just text, you can replace any image by clicking replace and then and then choosing whatever picture you want. I'll just choose this one. Just change my name. Why not? There you go. So as you can see the document is quite large and I don't need all the information. And I can read it easier by highlighting the most important things which you can do with the highlighter tool and it just makes reading PDFs a lot easier. And let's say I finished with this step, I can just add a sticker, I don't know, let's say approved, so that I know I finished with this step and I don't need to worry about this exercise, which is quite nice. And for example, I found this text to be quite hard to understand, so I can just translate it using the AI, which is as you can see it's quite fast because it is built on GPT-40. I can then add it to sticky note so that whenever I'm reading this text and I need the translation again I can just click on it or hover over it to see the translation. That is very convenient. As you can see here there's the cloud logo which means this document is also synced on all of my devices that have the app which are my iPhone and my iPad and that makes it really really convenient and I would much rather use this over a Word document but for whatever reason you can still convert this into a Word document by going into export PDF and then Word document and this is like known in the industry that it's a very difficult task and there will be visual changes it's not going to look the same but as you see here, look, it made such a good job. And although like, as you can see, the text is not exactly the same, the general shapes, the general design is still here. And it's very impressive to be honest. Even like complex shapes, it's not gonna be perfect, but it's quite good and you can definitely do a lot with it. So I encourage you to try it yourself. Give it a try. It's a free, unlimited free trial. And let me know what you think. And there will be a link in the description below for a massive discount from UPDF. And thanks again from UPDF for sponsoring this video.